What's up everybody, Mr. Played Out The Gaming here, back with another video for y'all today. And today we're gonna be looking at an article where they tell us they're gonna be a developer stream July 6th and what is gonna go over in the stream. And it also gonna announce the um season one release date in the July, July 6th developer stream of Diablo 4. For me personally, I'm very hyped for season one. I'm probably gonna play a new clad this season and I just cannot wait to see you what Blizzard do to Diablo 4 to make it a new experience and how they gonna enhance the game that I already think that's a good game to be honest with you I think Diablo 4 is a very good game like I've been playing Diablo 4 ever since it came out I beat the main story I'm doing like I'm still on world tier 3 I'm trying to get to world tier 4 before the before the um before the season 1 update hits and it resets everything so yeah, I'm being, I am being I thoroughly enjoy Diablo 4, and I cannot wait to see what Blizzard is going to bring into this game. So anyway, let's get right into the article. The information I'm getting it from is 4.com. Here's when Diablo 4 Season 1 release date and thing will be revealed. We were promised that Diablo 4 release in first season in mid to late July, and now it's early July, and it's time to start talking. Well, that is exactly about to happen. Diablo 4 announced that it will be doing a lengthy developer update live stream next Thursday, July 6th. That, they, that will include the release date of the season and a lot of information about what will it contain, including theme with Blizzard has said will it come with every season going forward. There will also be updates about quality of life updates, and I think some talks about Nerf and Buff as well, and there will be a Q&A session at the end as well. The entire Diablo live stream is 60 minutes or so, but 15 minutes up, it actually gonna be devoted to the mobile game Diablo Immortal, which is getting a new character class soon. Not going to go into the whole thing again. There has been a lot of debate going around Diablo 4 upcoming season, some of which I uncaused myself by posing the question about how new players will react to the fact that they cannot use their eternal character, the eternal character realm character to play the game. The new me play new season, the seasonal content, but we'll have to start from scratch with a brand new one. This will of course stand for ARPGs as I knew, as I will, as I will noon. But there will also been a lot of pushback about this from from players who don't know. Currently, this is how it's going to work. New added, newly added aspects and unique. It's available for it's available for the Eternal Realm character and it's available for the seasonal character. So if you want the new aspects or you need all you really care about, you can stick to the Eternal Realm and you'll get this. Newly patch, new newly balanced patch and quality of life update. Every single character will get this. The Eternal Realm will get this and the uh, seasonal will get this. Story content only available for seasonal character. You will not get the new content if you decide to play on the Eternal Realm. The battle pass, you will not build the progression battle pass unless you're playing on a seasonal round. And you will not get the game, you will not get the seasonal gameplay bonuses if you ain't playing on the seasonal round as well. So you gotta be playing on the seasonal character to get these, to get the rest of these, the, the game gonna add. Mainly the new story, I think the new story content gonna be the real draw for most people to create a new character because who don't want, them, who don't want more story content? Come on now. Newly introduced monsters. They don't, they don't know yet, they, they, the article got like question marks, so they don't know if they're going to be like new characters, or I mean new monsters in the seasonal round or their turnaround, they just, they saying more likely both are going to get it, but my, my, in, my, in my mind, I just think the, the seasonal character going to get the new monsters and stuff, and their turnaround character just ain't going to get them. They all we know right now, through... Do I suppose that some thing may change? I probably the uh, proposed that the idea previously that if you buy it, you could get at least some XP to progress through the battle pass to at least get the cosmetic. But who knows? I believe we're just talking about the battle pass there. But yeah, that is it for the Diablo 4. Everything they're gonna discuss in the Diablo 4 live stream. I think that's pretty good for what for season one. You get a new you get new story content. You get new aspects, you get new balance patches. They do it they do a nasty. I think that's gonna be enough for me to be happy with the um season one update. I don't know if I'm gonna get the battle pass yet. And by the way, here's our preview of the battle pass. Right here. 
you can kind of see the battle pad. I think the battle pad look kind of cool. Well, I'm gonna lie. I ain't gonna say it look cool. It kind of look lackluster though, but I'll be real with you. Every season one battle pad look like look lackluster. Like I don't like season one battle pad. Season one battle pad look like low quality crap to me. I'm just not a huge fan of season one battle passes. They don't look presentable at all. But so far, the season one, the season one Diablo, the season one Diablo 4, they don't look that bad. It look all right for what it is. Like it's not, it's not horrible. I say if me, I gonna say, I gonna say me. I think we're really the real big draw for real gonna be the seasonal content. Let's be real. The reason people read for the patch so they can do more, so they can see more, the, more of the story. I believe, like that's how I feel at least. So I like to see more of the story of Diablo 4. I wanted, I wanted if the story gonna be like at the end of Diablo 4 where Natalie, oh, I don't know what the girl name Natalie. I gonna call her Natalie because I think the game called her that Natalie. The girl that went out with Mephisto, the, the little um, wolf that helped you out do your adventure. I believe that's gonna be like the story where you trying to find her and the wolf and you trying to stop her from adventuring because at the end of the day, Mephisto is the prime evil. So I think that you're gonna be a, what the story content gonna be about is that you trying to find it, you trying to find Natalie and you trying to res rescue her from Mephisto. I think that'd be a pretty cool draw for season one. Like, I think that'd be big for season one, actually. That'd be kind of dope. But anyway, so far, season one look all right. I just think if you if you buy the battle pass, you should be able to you should be able to use it in the eternal realm. Like, I don't see the problem. I don't see the problem about not letting people use their battle pass in the eternal realm. Like the turn around is really just nothing but keeping your character, keeping your same character. And like the article said, there are some, there are some care, there are some people that just don't, just don't, just don't vibe with it. The fact that you gotta start, oh, you gotta start over, you gotta start over. Like most people don't like that. Like you tell a casual, they level their character to like level seventy or level seventy five, that they gotta create a whole fresh character. They gonna kind of be upset about it. And I really can't blame him. Like I'm a I'm a new Diablo player, and I was kind of like, really, do I gotta start over? But me personally, I'm willing to give it a try. If it good or the content good, I really want mind leveling again for real, for real. Like I level, like, I love my character again. I just I don't mind it. Probably because I got a lot of free time. I got a lot of time ahead, granted, but. I can see if a person is just like they got like a lot of things going on in their lives, they don't really got time to play video games, how they can how this can be annoying. That you gotta regrind a character again, cause they don't really got a lot of time to grind. But people like me, which people like me that got a lot of time, can just grind another character to a high level. And yeah, I I just got that privilege. But most people don't got that privilege. Some, some most people don't got that don't got that privilege and I think that kind of sucked for them. Like I think everybody should be able to experience the, experience the seasonal content without having to grind a new character. But it is the way it is. So anyway, it been Mr. Play Doctor with another video. I'm hyped for season one. So y'all, see y'all next time. Peace.